Now let's look at example 1. Solve x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. Now what is the meaning of solve? Solve means finding the value of the unknown. So the unknown here is x, which means that at the end of the day, you need to find out what x is equals to. Now for uh, an equation such as this, this is an equation because there's an equal sign here. For an equation such as this, it is known as a quadratic equation. Why is it called quadratic? Because the highest power of x is 2. So that's why we call it quadratic equation. And all quadratic equations can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Okay? If there's no equals to 0, then it's just a quadratic expression. With the 0, it is called an equation. Now, look at this example. A is the number in front of the x squared and in this case, it is 1. B is the number in front of the x, so the value of B is mi oh sorry, minus 4. And C is just the constant in this equation, and its value is equal to minus 5. Okay, and we're familiar with using the calculator to work backwards for this kind of question. So all you need to do is to press 1, minus 4, and minus 5 into your calculator. The calculator will then tell you that the answer is 5, one of them, one of the answer is 5, and the other answer is minus 1. Now, working backwards, um, we need to make the right hand side equals to 0, so it's x minus 5 equals to 0, and for this uh, other equation, it will be x plus 1 equals to 0. And as you are very familiar by now, should be familiar by now, this x minus 3 will go here, this x plus 1 will go here. Alright, so we're actually working backwards. By right, you should be working this way, but uh, this is a good way to get the answer straight away. Alright, please double check that x times x is whatever is given here, x squared. If there's any need to put any minus or half or whatever fraction or constant in front, then just do it. Now, this method works for this kind of questions whereby the number here, the numbers here are integers, very nice numbers, alright? Now, what if you get a question such as this? Solve 11x squared minus 12x minus 5. In this case, your A, B and C will be 11 minus 12 and minus 15, okay? Press that into your calculator. Um, what is it? 11 minus 12 minus 15. 11 minus 12 and minus 15. Okay? The answer you get would be very long answers which doesn't seem to end. You only see it ending because there are only 10 digits uh, maximum in this calculator. They only allow up to 10 digits. But if you actually know or if you actually work this out it's actually going to go on forever okay so when you get numbers like this you cannot be using this method anymore because you cannot be writing things like um take this example huh? it cannot be expressed as a fraction so you cannot be writing things like uh, x minus 1.834313 5, 3 cannot okay you can't be writing this kind of numbers because actually this is not the final number of this number it goes on forever all right it goes on so it cannot be right it's not exact in other words it's not these are not integers so you cannot be using this factorization method okay so because you can't use factorization method, so you have to use a more general way of solving this equation. And that is what we call the quadratic formula. You have to use this quadratic formula. This quadratic formula works for any quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Meaning to say that if you have any quadratic equation such as the 
example one which we did earlier for example you have uh, x squared minus 4x minus 5 is a quadratic equation you can use this formula okay it works for all quadratic equation now for this kind of questions you can use the factorization method okay as we discussed earlier to solve it not a problem you don't need to use this but even if you want to use this we will mark you correct in the exam also okay but for example two where the answer uh, that the calculator gives you gives you is a very it's, it's not an exact uh, uh, integer okay uh, then you cannot use this factorization method we have no choice but to use the quadratic formula now how do we use the quadratic formula it's very simple this is the same example you saw earlier okay this is your a b is the number in front of the x so it's not only 12 it is minus 12 and c is the constant without any x so it is minus 15 okay what do you need to do you need to first of all write down this formula and then next step you need to substitute in the values of a b and c into this uh, into this formula so b is minus 12 so what we can do is we just substitute minus 12 inside here notice notice there's a pattern b a then the c there's only one c here okay so this is minus 15 uh, B is minus 12. Both of these are minus 12. It's very important to put the brackets. If you do not put the brackets, we will mark you wrong in the exam. Because as you can see, if you do not put the brackets, you wouldn't know that it's minus times minus 12. Okay? And if you don't put the brackets here, you may think that it's just minus 144. When actually it is plus 144. Because you actually square uh, the negative and the number as well so negative the ne ne negative becomes positive so brackets are very important i advise all of you to uh, after writing down this formula okay after writing down this formula next step draw this template the blue color thing like what i've done Okay, just follow whenever you see algebra draw a bracket 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 okay after that you all you need to do is to substitute b b first then a and c there's only one c here okay and make sure you write all this clearly in the exam we will either give you one mark for writing this or two marks for writing this Okay. Now, what does this mean? This plus minus here. It actually means this. It means that there are two possible values. X can either be minus minus twelve. This whole thing, huh? This whole thing. But this is a positive value, and then you get one answer. Okay. Or it can be this minus minus twelve, huh? minus this whole thing then divide by 2 over 11 okay and then you'll get a different answer from this so there are two possible uh, answers that when you substitute inside here for example you, you, you substitute uh, minus 1.8343 whatever inside here inside here then you press calculator the number that you get should be almost zero Okay, of course you can't get zero because actually there are many many more numbers so this is a round off answer okay so this is what it means similarly this value that you get here when you substitute inside here then you go to minus 15 and all that you roughly get very close to zero so that is what is meant by solution or the roots of the equation so this is what we call the roots or the solution to the equation Meaning to say, if you put this inside here, the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side value. Alright? Now, um, 
under exam conditions, if you were to do this, write this, and then write this, okay, before you evaluate and all that, it's very time consuming, right? You have to write a lot and then you waste a lot of time writing, okay? So I do not advise you to write all these. In fact, I do not advise you even to press calculator and press the, 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 all this uh, into your calculator, then you get one answer, then you press calculator, then you get another answer. No, you're not going to do that. Okay, you're wasting a lot of time. So what you do is simply what I'm going to show you now. This is the working that you need. And that's all you need to do and you'll get full marks. Okay, so firstly, write down the quadratic formula. This is what we call the quadratic formula. Okay, write this down. You won't get any marks for writing down this formula. You will only get marks here. Okay, the one or two marks that I mentioned earlier is only awarded here. Which means that you need to substitute the values here correctly. Now, of course, it's very easy to press calculator. Anybody, even a primary school kid, kindergarten kid can press 11 minus 12 minus 15 to calculator and get these two values okay but not everybody can substitute this in correctly that's why we give one mark here and then of course we'll give some marks here okay so that's all for uh, this quadratic formula okay using the quadratic formula to solve any quadratic equation all right thank you